Brown v. Board of Education held segregation in schools was unconstitutional. When one school delayed taking meaningful steps to integrate, the court gave it a bad report card in Green v. County School Board. In the early 1960s, New Kent County, Virginia's two schools served children of all ages. One school, located in the eastern portion of the county, enrolled white children. The other school, located in the western portion of the county, enrolled African-American children. African-Americans lived all over the county. The New Kent County School Board adopted a Freedom of Choice plan. It obligated students in first and eighth grades to choose a school. Other students could choose a school, but if they didn't, they remained enrolled in their current school. Under this plan, 85% of African-American children attended the traditionally African-American school. No white children enrolled in the African-American school. In 1965, parents of African-American school children, including the minor lead plaintiff Charles Green, filed a lawsuit seeking to enjoin the board from maintaining its segregated school district. While the suit was pending, the board adopted its Freedom of Choice plan. After the board amended its plan to address staff assignments, the court approved the plan. Green appealed to the Fourth Circuit, which upheld the district court's ruling, but remanded for greater specificity for staffing. Two justices separately expressed concerns about ensuring the effectiveness of the plan to desegregate the schools. The Supreme Court granted cert.